Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, let's just get right to work here. I have a number of things I'd like to talk about, but we'll talk about them at the end. Let me, let me hang with this for a minute here. We're still working on this Evo motor. And one of the things that I'm, one of my little pet things that doesn't get done too often is that wrist pin bushings don't get replaced. And when I feel a wrist pin rocking in its bushing, I just want to replace them. So we're going to do that. I mean, that's where we're at right now. So let's do it. Now this is a fixture to hold the connecting rod while we remove, replace, and then resize the wrist pin bushing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this really nice fixture here that's going to hold the rod. First we need to get it fastened down good. And then we'll just barely start to touch the rod with these adjusters here, these bolts, thumb screws as it were. And we're going to put these nuts on here. And that holds the fixture in place. I'm going kind of fast, so hang with me. I'm going to get this done. Okay, now that fixture is bolted down to the crankcase. Now we're going to tighten these screws. And what we want to do is be careful that we don't side load the rod. In other words, we've centered it here. There's no stress on it. So now that it's in place, we can tighten these screws here. And I'd say that rod's pretty, pretty much in place. We could move it just a little bit this way. There we go. That's a little better. Anyway, there it is. So what we want to do now is remove the wrist pin bushing. Because like I said, the wrist pin was pretty loose in that bushing. And what happens is it'll start to pound when we get the motor running. That thing could start to pound and pretty soon you've got a real mess. So we're going to replace this wrist pin bushing with a new one. If I can find my tool, here it is. And this is the tool for removing and installing that bushing. So we'll put a little grease on it here. A little grease. And we'll push it out of there. This is another one of those silly things that I enjoy. I don't know why, I just do. Now, I don't have to be too careful installing that because we're going to remove the bushing. Now this piece right here slides right into the bushing itself. And we can put these washers and this bearing on here. And this nut here. That looks pretty good. And we'll put it in place. This is a nice tool. This is a wrist pin bushing remover and installer. This particular one was made by Jim's. And we've had it quite a while. So with two wrenches, I can do this, and what this is going to do is it's going to drip that, that bushing right through the rod. And you know, I don't like this. I forgot to do something that I almost always would have done, and that's get a rag in here. I don't want to get any filings out of that bushing into the motor. And I'm going to put rags here, but I should do it before 
I remove the bushing. Okay, now we'll rag it even better when I get the bushing out of there. But here we go. And we'll just go around like that. And that bushing is going to come right out. Not much in the way of, of material there. That was rude. Hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. All right. And the bushing is almost out. And there it is. You now we can take the, uh, the tool back apart. And once the tool's apart, we can carefully slide that bushing out, being real careful not to get any filings down into the motor or engine if you'd rather. Okay. There's the tool. Coming back apart. Very carefully. Get my finger in here. Make sure I get all the filings out of this, out of this wrist, out of the uh, connecting rod. And that's perfect. And here's that old. Uh, here's that old bushing. That we've taken out. It's been pretty warm. Okay, now that it's out and we're sure we've got all the filings out of here, we're going to take this rag off and we're going to cover it up real good before we do the next step. There. Didn't like that one. Anytime there's any particles of metal suspected of being on the rag that didn't sound good but on that rag that you're using then what you want to do is be sure that you get that rag out of the way now this is the one I really wanted over here and we can put it over the rod and we can even put this over these studs Look at that. Now that's pretty neat. Okay. Now once we've uh, got that rag in place, then we can start taping everything and seal it up so that we don't get any filings in it because we're going to have to size that bushing. So we're not only going to put it in, we're going to ream it to size and it's going to make some filings, make some mess, and we don't want that in the motor. Now, it really irritates me that a lot of people will rebuild a top end and not really check the fit on those wrist pin bushings. And it's just going to cause trouble down the road later. So it's really nice to freshen that stuff up when you can. Or when it needs it. You know, I find that the Evo motors are really a lot easier on their parts than some of the older motors were. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to make somebody angry by saying that, but personally I love the older motors. But I tell you, these motors outlast just about everything I've ever seen. Pretty hard to criticize something like that. There we go. Now get this all taped up. Now I suppose it looks really silly. 
Somebody told me last night it looked like I was doing surgery. But I'm not. And I like this pretty well covered up now. This is this is nice. So I might just do this even better over here. Doesn't matter what it looks like. What matters is that you don't get filings in your motor. All right. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to put the new bushing in. And here is the new bushing. Let's see a little bit of brass right there I'd like to have out of there. <laughs> I got it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is grease up the bushing and pull it into place with the same tool that I used to pull the old bushing out. So I'm just going to grease this up a little bit, make it slide in there nice. And to do that, we take the tool, turn this end around, and slide it through like this. Then, we take this end, turn it around, and slide it in like that. Now we can put all the other good stuff on here. Too much fun. And now, as I said, we're going to going to use the same tool to install the bushing that we used to remove the old bushing. Now we want to get it on center to the best of our ability here so that the oil hole in the wrist pin bushing lines up with the oil hole in the connecting rod. So there it is. Now all we need to do is put it in place. And maybe I'll use the box end on this thing so I don't throw a wrench across the room. Now it's just pulling right into place. Again, that's what this tool is designed to do. And we're going to get it in place. Now once it's in place, one of the things I can't stand is that the oil hole is not going to be on center because it just isn't that way. And the oil hole in this rod is round. And the oil hole in the bushing is a slot. So I'm not going to take the time to do that in the middle of this video. But I am going to take a little file and correct that hole, which is right there. I will just file that little bushing. And it'll be just dandy. Dandy? Really? Okay. Here we get this out of the way. And carefully remove the tool. The next thing we're going to do is clean what kind of a mess we have out of there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Of course, I've got to get my hand in front of the camera so you can't see anything. All right. Now, in order to size this bushing to wrist pin size, because it's certainly too small to push a wrist pin through now, 
we're going to have to ream it. Now I have a couple of reamers here. This one is a single pass reamer made for use on an evolution motor. And in theory, a single pass with this thing will fit a wrist pin bushing. But I find it needs just a little finishing honing to get it exactly right. So all we're going to do is demonstrate what it's like to do this to get that pass, that first pass through there. And what I'm using to lube that with is Marvel Mist Real because it's real slippery. And I'm using it like a cutting oil or as a cutting oil. And I'll kind of oil up the, the reamer a little bit too. There we go. So what we're going to do is push it right on through there. Now in a perfect world that nobody lives in, when you use a reamer like this, you never stop. You get it turning and you move it hand over hand over hand and that's the way you get it to go through. Problem is, I've not been able to do that. The other problem is I just moved this thing, but it doesn't matter because it's going through perfectly. And I'm going to just keep going and then I will correct it when I'm done. But here goes the reamer. And the way it sounds, you would think you were going to get a terrible finish on it. And this is really, the reason it's so hard is because we're doing a large cut all at once. Any cuts after this one will be much smaller, much smoother, and easier. So we've got this almost all the way through there. And it's not going to be big enough for the wrist pin yet. But here it is. And you always want to take a reamer like this all the way through. You'd never back it out. And so here it goes. And that's it. And out it comes. Now, that cut, although it's going to look just fine, it's not. And we're going to need to do a finish cut on it. And that's what I'm going to do when we're done with this video. First I'm going to open up this hole, but we're so close on this now. We can actually use an adjustable reamer, which is this one, to enlarge it slightly. Or I can run that same through reamer through again a couple of times and it will clean it up and it'll come real close to the size. And to get it absolutely finished for that perfect hand fit, in other words, when you push it through, it should be a soft hand press to push that wrist pin through that bushing. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I've already done the front one, or the rear one. I'm doing the front one now, and I will get it done soon. I just wanted to show how it's done. I wasn't too impressive when I took it loose from the fixture, but that's the way it goes. I will correct that before I do any more cuts. What I did want to say is, by all means, if you're enjoying our videos, um, please subscribe. Don't forget to click on the little bell so you will be chimed into realizing we have a new video. And the next thing I want to say is there's a swap meet this weekend in Torrance, California at El Camino College Saturday, and I will be there. So hopefully I'll get to see a few people there and have a good time. And until then, see you out on the road.